Hola amigos y amigas, bienvenidos nuevamente a este espacio. Estamos acompañados por Jack Morris, luchador escocés de Pro Wrestling Noah. Hello Jack, it's nice to have you here again. Oh, oh, uh, yes. And uh, finally in person. Me in person, yes. Yeah, nice to be in person. It's uh, great to be back on the podcast, so it's very cool, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Jack, you've had a really big month, you know, had a outstanding performance in the N1. Unfortunately, you couldn't make the cut. You lost the final match with Cairo, but uh, you had great matches. So I wanted to ask you, how was experiences this year's N1 and if you have a favorite match? So yeah, this, up, this N1, uh, there was many ups and downs. Mm -hmm. The first match, I was against Massa and things didn't really go to plan. Uh, suffered, suffered a little bit of an injury, a little bit of a setback, didn't get the win. And um, yeah, that week after the Massa match, leading up to the match with Dragon Dane was, was uh, very mentally, mentally hard for me mm -hmm. because I got a little bit of an injury and yeah, the preparation wasn't ideal. But went into Dragon Bane match, I managed to get the win. It was one of my favourite matches of N1. Mm -hmm. uh, that along with match with Oila and Kiyomiya, probably my, my favourites. The Kiyomiya one, frustrating result because mm -hmm. if I got the win, I would have won the block, but it wasn't to be unfortunately, but I'm still happy with my performance in that match. Great, I believe that uh, you had good matches and you learned from this. So yes. next year, you will definitely go to the finals. Yes. And hopefully you win it. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, now after the M1, you guys came to Europe, specifically to the United Kingdom, to do a NOAA tour mm -hmm. with the support of Progress. Yes. And you got the chance to wrestle in Scotland. Yes. So how was the experience of the whole tour, especially getting to wrestle in your home country? Yeah, well, I... I I haven't wrestled in Scotland for a very long time, maybe a year and a half to two years mm -hmm. since I last wrestled. I'm in Japan so much that usually when I get a small period of time at home, two to three weeks, many shows don't line up. So yeah, it was the first time I've wrestled in Scotland for a long time. Uh, it was very exciting, very happy to be back there and to be back there with Noah, who I've spent most of my time with the last two years. It was. Mm -hmm. A surreal experience. Seeing Mara Fuji and Gredo teaming, yeah. seeing Kiyomiya and Varang facing off against Kiyomiya again two weeks after the N1, but in Scotland, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty wild experience. Great. Uh, and what's next for you? What's next is I'm getting two to three weeks off, I'm going to rest, I'm going to sort some paperwork out, I'm going to walk the dog many times, I'm going to sort my diet, sort my nutrition, sort my workout plans, and I'm going to head back to Japan in two and a half weeks. And we go again, we build back up, and we, uh, we work towards that goal of winning the GHC Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, absolutely. Finally, uh, uh, when we talked last time, you told me that you were waiting for the right time to get revenge on Jake Lee. But now he announced that he signed a new contract with New Japan. Yes. So, what do you think of his decision now? And about the possibilities of finally getting that match? I think uh, I made it very clear that uh, I think Jake Lee is a hypocrite. I, I spoke about how he jumped ship uh, and went to New Japan the last time when we were on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's ironic that. Jake Lee has this big announcement and signs his contract, but yet he talks about Jack Morris in his press conference, which is very weird. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I know I'm still on his mind, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still remembering that choke slam at Nippon Budokan. So, yes. the time will come, I said that last time, the time will come when me and Jake will face off and we'll stand in the ring together, and Jake Lee will regret his de decision on turning his back on Noah, turning his back on GOG, and turning his back on Jack Morris. Awesome. Do you have any message for the fans that have come to the NOAA UK tour? Just thank you very much from all the boys really uh, and the staff. Like The support has been incredible, the tour has been a major success. Um, packed crowds each night, electric shows. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a huge success and hopefully because of that success, but we'll be back very soon in the UK doing more shows, different locations maybe, mm. and maybe different places in Europe too. Oh, that would be nice. Yes, it would be, it would be. So yeah, watch this space. Ha, huh. look forward to it. Yes. Okay, Jack, thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure no to worries. have you here. No worries, thank you very much for having me back on. Great, hopefully there will be a third time. Yes, yes. Okay, eso ha sido todo por hoy, amigos. Hasta la próxima.